Hey guys, um, I'm here with my second or first video, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, um, on this YouTube channel dedicated to A-level com computer science, GCC computer science. Um, today's video is going to be all about our five, my five personal top tips for getting that A-star in your A-levels. Obviously this applies for GCSE too, so if you're a GCSE student, you can just call this video how to get a nine. So, we'll just jump straight into it. Tip number one. Is on the importance of active recall as opposed to um, passively studying. So active recall is the process of um, consciously trying to bring up information you've learned from your brain without rereading it or reconsuming. So say, you learn the definition of um, a buffer, temporary storage of data. Um, instead of just rereading that definition when you can't quite remember it, you're actually forcing yourself to um, bring it up from your brain. And the process of doing that actually strengthens. Um, there's a very good book on this called Make It Stick. I highly recommend that, but we'll talk about that later. Um, it makes the synapses stronger and makes that piece of information you know even stronger if you actually have to forcibly think about it and uh, come up with the answer. So that as opposed to rereading notes um, is going to be your number one thing. So that's tip number one, active recall. So make sure you uh, actively maybe write yourself some questions when you study instead of taking notes. You can look at the questions later then actively recall what you learned. Number two, <laughs> past papers. Now I know everyone rants on about how important past papers are, but truly, this is gonna be the difference between you getting that B and you getting that A star. It may be even less than a B, but I can't stress enough how important exam questions are because these two things do link into each other quite strongly. Um, so not only will it prepare your brain for the sort of conditions you're gonna be taking during the exam, so you're not stressed or worried in the actual situation, it's gonna force you to do a lot of active recall um, in, and in the specific way the exam board wants to see and the mark scheme wants to see. So it's gonna force you to really strengthen those synapses um, and yeah, the more exam questions you do, the better in my opinion. You can never, never do enough exam questions. So you can use resources like um, the OCR website, past papers. Um, there's a few more resources I'll go into in the next tip, but exam questions, one of the most important things, you know, if not the most important thing. In fact, if I were to pick the most important thing that helped me succeed, it would be these exam questions. So. Make sure you do plenty of these, all of the, the essay questions, the, jet, the short answer ones, all of it. Right. Now. I'm going to give you guys some additional resources you can use in your study. So. Obviously, my channel is gonna be your number one resource for learning all this content, but there are a load, a load of other good resources that I used in my time. I can't recommend Craig and Dave highly enough. They have a very comprehensive list of um, the topics in computer science, A-level computer science, GCSE. Um, so if you need reinforcement, Craig and Dave for sure. Uh, they don't do a traditional whiteboard, they do more of a screen recording a few animations and stuff um but yeah it's very 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 good stuff um furthering on from craig and dave uh, they have their product smart revise which is a bank of about 200 300 whoa <laughs> almost killed me eh? <laughs> um 200 300 uh, unique original exam questions for you to do so again, that links into the exam question thing. 
just couldn't recommend it highly enough. It's about ten pound a month. Well worth the investment. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, smart advice. Very very highly recommend that. Making sure what these ones is. Okay. Um, the next one is we're going to be talking about. Um, actually, I'll, I'll leave that on for, for later. Okay. Instead, I'm going to talk to you about zigzag education. So, zigzag education um, is a supplier for schools. I give them loads of uh, original exam style questions, resources, stuff like that. So what you can do is you can go onto the website and you can buy an individual license for uh, their computer science stuff. So the, the thing that I brought was three, a set of six papers, one for component one, uh, three for component one, three for component two, uh, original exam questions. So literally even more exam questions I was doing. And I just worked through all of those papers because I ran out of the past papers when I was revising. Um, so yeah, even more exam questions, even more topics. Um, great questions. It's in the style of the uh, OCR exam board and mark scheme. Um, so yeah, but there is a caveat to this. If you're willing to invest the money in your education, which I highly recommend, it costs about, I'd like to say 80 at most, these six papers for the single license. You get a bit of a discount if you're using it for a single license. Uh, you have to email them about that though. Uh, email them and say, I'd like to use it just for myself. Um, could I buy a single license? They'll say, yeah, here's your discount. Or you ask the discount, so on and so forth. That's about 80 pounds, but this probably, this 80 pounds spent some of the best money I've ever spent. <laughs> in terms of getting the grades. Um, all right, so the last resource I'm gonna be talking about is um, Craig and Dave's NEA book. Um, so as we know, the non-exam assessment is our coding project, um, which makes up 20% of the grade. Um, now, um, this book gives you a comprehensive guide once you have a project idea. It does give some tips about making good project ideas, but um, once you have a good project idea, it gives you the whole basis of the write-up, the analysis, um, design, implementation, and the evaluation, and how to really achieve that those top marks, because I use the concepts in the books. Um, I'll probably make a video on the NEA at some point, or 100% I will. Um, but I use the principles in the book, and my teacher told me uh, I was pushing, pushing the upper, upper mark bands, so, um, yeah, stuff works in the book. Um, it does recommend using Lua, which is a coding language very similar to Python, very close to pseudocode, so it shouldn't be too hard to pick up. Um, and um, the game development engine um, default, which you'll have to use. There is a good tutorial series on YouTube um, done by an old gentleman. Uh, you should be able to find it if you look over it. So, yeah, that's... Tip number three, over and done with. Okay, we're going to point number four, um, our actual coding. So uh, for the OCR spec, um, the coding algorithm questions can actually be written in pseudocode. Uh, or flowcharts, but I would, wouldn't recommend those, or, or any other recognized programming language such as C, Python, um, etc. Um, so we're going to talk about how to achieve those marks in those tough coding questions. Now, this one links back into the exam questions point. Do loads of exam questions, algorithm questions, the GCSE and A-level questions are pretty similar, so get your hands on as many as you can find um, and do some of those. As for coding, you can do some online challenges. Uh, the OCR has a comprehensive list of coding challenges uh, to design systems and um, such, so you can get some good uh, practice in. Um, as for learning to code, um, 
the Python crash course is very, very good book. I'll link that in the description. Um, it's what I use to learn to Python um, and learn the projects through there can also get you some valuable hands-on experience. Uh, but with the coding, the number one thing I'd say is build your own projects. That's where you get the most practical experience um, and you know, you run into problems and that's how we learn. Um, okay, so five, um, notes. So making notes in class, a lot of people fall into the habit of just regurgitating everything the teacher says and writing that down, rereading those notes later. Well, the science shows that this isn't actually a very effective way of revising. Um, you're better off taking advantage of this active recall by um, making some questions for yourself um, after revising each topic. So say you revise the CPU, you could, exam for example, ask, what is the control unit instead of writing out uh, the definition of a control unit? So instead of writing control unit the code's instructions, you could say, what is the control unit? And you'll have to actively recall that from your brain. Uh, you can obviously write down the answers in the same document if you have the time, but uh, you can also just look up the answers, which was what I tended to do. Um, but overall, those are our five top tips, tips for getting an A star in computer science. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.